All right, so we were, we were talking about the Ku Klux Klan, COINTELPRO types, the stalking activity, and I want people to know that, you know, the stalking has happened to me. I know right away that the federal government is involved with it for the simple fact is I can get up and go on a long walk, and I can go down by Pier Marquette Beach, which is the water area in downtown Muskegon, and I can walk past the Coast Guard uh, the Coast Guard area, which is a Homeland Security base, right? And there'll be, at, like, the people working there or the people in the area will be working, doing the, like, little contract stocking assignment, the street theater, same thing people will be doing by the projects in the hood. And I would walk down, most recently, <clears throat> a few months ago, I walked down by Grand Haven, downtown on the pier in Grand Haven. I was just sitting there walking, and there's a little Coast Guard Homeland Security thing, and the media, some of the employees started coming outside and going to their cars and doing the same exit entry tactics, the same thing as a normal, the same thing as the people in the neighborhood I live at do. So I know right away that the federal government is involved in it, and people who say, well, you know that the federal government's involved in it, like, what do you mean? Well, you know, I, I'm a researcher. I know I know how secret societies work. I know how I know how this type of stuff works. It doesn't mean that everybody in the FBI office sits there and plans this stuff, but... Who are the Freemasons in the FBI Grand Who are the Freemasons at the FBI office in Grand Rapids? Who are the Freemasons at the FBI at the at the region? Who are the Freemasons in Homeland Security? Who are the Freemasons in the military in the area? So then Freemasonry is glue that connects other things together. Like you have Doug, like in Freemasonry by itself, you have York right and Scottish right. And, and, and other factions that people generally don't know about when it comes to Freemasonry. Then you have secret societies. You have secret societies uh, in Freemasonry. Um, like like uh, some of them, there's various of them. Skull and Bones is, is, is probably one of the biggest well-known secret societies, but there's other secret societies that don't even have names that people don't even know about that are even higher up than Skull and Bones. So... There's all sorts of stuff that's going on out there in the world. You have you have Knights of Malta, and the police department, you have Knights of Columbus and all that stuff. And so, you know, I, I know a lot about Freemasonry and secret societies. I used to sit down and read books and books and books and books about it. And I remember there was a time in my life, it still happens to it, I mean, it's still going on now, but I remember there was a time in my life where certain individuals were following me around stalking me. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go to Grand Rapids. I couldn't go to Grand Haven. I couldn't go to North Muskegon. I couldn't go anywhere without the same individuals following me around. <clears throat> and it didn't matter if I, it doesn't matter if I'm on, talking on the internet or not. I can get off the internet right now and never come on the internet again. It'll still be going on. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. And so, you know, you know the KKK type stalking I went through. Definitely, the federal government was involved with it. And my research on the federal government goes back a long time. Like, I put up some stuff about, uh, what was it, Frank Turple, and I was I, w I was studying up until the 90s, past Jonestown, I was studying up until the 90s about the Oklahoma City bombing, the Green Berets, there's a connection between Timothy McVeigh and the Green Berets, I was studying was Frank Turple involved in any of that stuff, and so my, and this involves secret societies as well, so my research goes back, like, people see me on YouTube talking about gang stalking, gang stalking is something that happened to me after years and years of already doing research. I had been on the internet for a long time do, doing doing research. I used to go to colleges and talk to people about things like the 7-Eleven, the, the London bombings, the 9-Eleven the bombings, the, the um, things like Area 51, things like that. My most, the research I was most interested in was in the 60s and 70s though. But, so that's how I know the feds are involved with the gang stalking. It's because if I go, if I can, I can get in my car right now. I can go right now down to the whole, by the Homeland Security thing, and people out there will still be out there doing. You know what I mean? I can record it all. I'm gonna bring it back and put it on. Here.